Good evening and welcome to another episode of the After the Whistle podcast. My name is KO and I'm here with my guys. How are you guys doing? I see Corey. You guys see Corey? Hi, Corey. Hi, Corey. I, I see Smiley and Bangelda. It's been a while, bro. How you been doing? There's, there's, there's also another black box over there. But I don't feel like who that track. Who that? Who that? Wait, wait, wait. I, I guess I guess some wild message right now say application. Who that? Who that? Tabzi. Undertaker on the after the whistle podcast. <laughs> I beg you. I I see crack in a in a dark room with a mask on. Meaning, stay there is war. Top zero is ready for you. Uh, <laughs> we go, we go see your face, or we not go see your face. <laughs> we don't put on the lights. Uh. Please, mm-hmm. it's not in CGO. Otherwise, you yeah. couldn't be here recording with us. <laughs> uh, I don't. I, I want to hear from my guy or you guys. You know, everybody cool. How are you I'll doing? I'll be very cool. I'll be very cool. Like, listen, I'm chill, it's been like a love chill, bro. Uh, yeah, I, I see the smile. Ooh. I see the smile. I got how you doing up in, in, in cold London, in cold UK. Good evening. Um, good evening, <laughs> everyone. As-salamu alaykum. It's good to be here. It's good to be back. I know, you know, there's a scene when the cat is away, the mice will play. Some people were playing because I was away. But it's fine, I'm back. And I'm happy to be back. That's good to hear from you, my brother. Charlie Undertaker Crackles. Oh, we, we just want to hear your voice more than understand, say everything be okay because this is very, very, very like you. <laughs> very much on brand. <laughs> so, in a, so, so, in as much as you are doing the theatrics, yeah, there we go. Fine boy with the mask on. Sub zero, sub zero, sub zero. <laughs> Papa gets it no, twice out. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> crap, 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 crap. <sighs> How are you doing, my brother? I'm good. I'm excited. I came for the ops. Oh. You know, being an op is so nice, <laughs> my God. African mentality. I put my brother down. Let's all go down together. Right. You see that crab? <laughs> crab, eh? You see crab, eh? Crab is an African. Oh, God, they chew. For sure. God, they chew. God, they chew. God, they chew. <laughs> we'll put you down. <laughs> Where you to go? <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy yesterday. Um, Look, yesterday, yesterday was like, it was a beautiful moment. <laughs> like, it was orgasmic. Liverpool won, and we didn't know what the day had for us. Liverpool what? Liverpool lost, please. Yeah, Liverpool. Sorry, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. Yes. Shout out to Freddy. 
<laughs> Liverpool lost and we didn't know. And Arsenal fans, oh, look at these niggas. How can you lose? I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Before you, before you, before you even get into any of that, I, I want to reference. I this this was a conversation well. which was happening what, two weeks ago. Uh, Villa as well. Uh, Wolves. The Unai mm. Emery factor. Make you don't forget the Unai Emery Charlie. revenge factor. The same <laughs> Unai Emery who limited Man City to two shots at goal. Two shots. Corey, may I just represent Tom? I'm, I'm, I'm just what, presenting what, it. What, what, I'm what just presenting it. Villa. They were lucky good to, e- to win that game. Good evening. Good evening. I'm just saying. They were, la- they were lucky to win. But they won. So now, nah, they, they will go be they lucky won. to win again. And, good evening. And, and you know what? The thing you have to learn about, the thing you have to learn about Arsenal is that they learn a lot from their their mistakes. Normally, when they face you again, they batter you. So batter me, is the... Like batter is the... <laughs> batter, batter everywhere! <laughs> <laughs> Enough for the tomfoolery. Let's, Corey. I really still haven't heard your voice, bro. On, I, I think you've said something, but I, but I haven't heard your voice. Have you, have you set up for for them to come and attack me? So, so I'm waiting for them to finish the attack. So, 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 so talk good evening. Hey, you talk good evening. Hey, guys, between between so, when you both do what, 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 what you want to do, I mean, oh, <laughs> uh, what the guy will talk? Oh. Do, do what you want to do. Yes. Yes, see what's your idea, sir, Phil, called remedials. <laughs> okay. All right. So, very, 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 very interesting. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, you want to give your tea? Wait, relax. That remedial, what did they call it? I do call it. How can you feel? 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 I don't have to go. I don't have to go remedial school. I do call it. How can you feel? <laughs> <laughs> we have five game weeks to go. Uh, 33 games have been played out of 38. Uh, good weekend of football, especially Sunday. I think it was called Hate Watch Sunday. For all for all uh, parties involved, Asu was very, very, very jubilant. <laughs> how, how do I even want to paint this picture? Because that's not was Liverpool were leading the table at the time, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, and then Arsenal were playing at home to Villa. Now the clip which I played earlier, I think it was two weeks ago, because I wasn't on last week because of uh, some matter. And yeah, you Arsenal fans would have every right to be confident playing at home against um, against a Villa team who. Might seem like they're floundering a little bit, but then you know there was every every bit of motivation there for Unai Emery to come and shock fans across the the league because this was a team that he managed, but then probably didn't get the respect which he deserved over there. He also had former players like uh, Emmy Martinez, who is a bit of a dick if it comes to these type of situations. So he probably lapped it up that year he was able to play a huge role in uh, that game by saving the shots from Leander Trozard because I'm sure would that ball have gone in it might be a different game and yeah second half I think first half it was a bit cautious but then the teams were feeling themselves out and if Arsenal put their chances away in the first half it might be a different game in the second half because second half Villa came to try and win the game we got goals through uh, Leon Bailey. And, Corey, would you like to tell the story about, you know, how you found that out? Because you cl- you said you do not watch Arsenal matches. Me, me and you having this conversation. You tell me something, which I found very, 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 very <laughs> funny to listen to. So, I, I beg, I won't hear your voice. The, the, the floor is yours, my brother. So, well, on a Sunday afternoon, 
Yeah, yeah, my tweet. Uh, your 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 ba- your bay tweet. I was I was following, I was following the the game on Twitter though, and then I saw your 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 tweet. I was just like, ain't no fucking way this guy has scored at, like right now. So I checked for football, but it was still zero zero. Dude, I went back to Twitter, reloaded the page, and all I saw that the guy's fucking scored. I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Can you do so something for me? Okay, F you, F you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Leo Bailey, can you do something for me? Ah, <laughs> uh, seeing scenes at the Emirates when that goal went in. Arsenal tried to push on, tried to get a goal back, weren't able to. Um, a Watkins dagger at the 88th minute. That's, I think I also saw a tweet somewhere that someone predicted that. So it'd be like yesterday was such a beautiful day for all the ops involved. And I would like to thank Football Heaven for providing such a relaxing Sunday, taking us into this week. Right? So my, my, my panel of distinguished gentlemen, you know, who love this game so much, who love these kind of twists and turns, right? How damaging is this defeat to Arsenal? This is one out of the remaining, well, when we started this, it would have been eight, but then right now we're down to six. Sorry, we're down to five because they just finished playing. How damaging is that? Seeing that on the table, we have City, <clears throat> we have City who are leading, Arsenal in second and Liverpool in third, all being separated by two points. But Arsenal having the better goal difference amongst the remaining two teams. Who who would like to take this up first? My God, I mean, my, I hear I actually miss you. I mean, I would like I would like to hear from you. I would like to hear from you. Your team they win, so you know really gets. <laughs> Good evening. Like, there's, there's happiness. There's happiness. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening once again to our cherished viewers and listeners. I uh, hope everybody had a lovely weekend. I certainly did. Um, for damage, I think. Truthfully, I don't think it worries them that much. If they go on to lose to Bayern on Wednesday, that, I think, those two back-to-back defeats, or even if they don't lose per se, but some, well, they need to lose to be eliminated, actually. So, yeah. So, if they are eliminated from the Champions League, I think those two back-to-back defeats might mentally uh, destabilize and derail them. Um, I've always maintained that Arsenal have the toughest running actually amongst the three teams as not do have their toughest one. They had to play Chelsea, they had to play Manchester United, they had to play Tottenham Hotspur. And trust me, someone might say Chelsea is nice and not good. Manchester United is really bad and Tottenham is Tottenham, right? But the thing that I've noticed is that big teams always raise it against their rivals. Right? So when Arsenal wasn't good against Chelsea, they will play their best football. Liverpool wasn't good against Man United, they'll play their best football. So, for me, I think that Arsenal fans shouldn't think it's going to be so simple for them. Oh, we are better than all these three teams. I'm going to steamroll them and just, you know, just beat them. Maybe among the three, Chelsea might be the only team that they they may beat comfortably. I know Cry, I know. Or Mudrick, if Mudrick balls, if he score two, then just, just to ball Arsenal and Ateta in his voice. Right? So, I think that on, on, its, on its own, just losing to... Um, uh, Aston Villa over the weekend. If they qualify in the Champions League or they bounce back against Bayern, I think they'll have some confidence going into the rest of the season that, look, we can still do something and salvage our points here. Their only problem is that now they are chasing. And uh, as history would let you know, it's the worst position to be against somebody who trains with spirits. So <laughs> me, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Truthfully, <laughs> The guy, uh, you, you know, see that video. I see the video. I see the video. I see the video. Yeah, yeah. Recently, I see some video to you. They train plus spirit, Charlie. Of fresh things. Me that we are going to do. Of fresh things. So, so <laughs> I don't think. I, I think it's gonna be unless City decides to fuck up on their own, which is actually most unlikely. I think the the league is done. I, I personally, I think the league is done. Smiley, you let me mm-hmm. let me put it to you this way. Um. I, I don't think City are playing the absolute best um, as compared to previous seasons. Not to say that players are out of form or anything, but in such um, in such conditions, you would expect more dominant performances, uh, performances where other teams have no sniff at beating them. Now, I've been impressed with Luton by their turnaround um, you know, in general. So, 
for them to even concede a goal. And I don't think City have kept a clean sheet. I'll have to pull it up. But it's just like hearing different results. City haven't kept a clean sheet in probably the last three or four games. So is it going to be one of those runs, as we've seen in previous seasons, where like the last 10 games and they went all, or it's very possible that there will be another slip up? First of all, let me see that everybody in the league should be both scared and ashamed that City in this state are two points ahead going into the running now. Because if we are talking about how City haven't been at their best this whole season, they've suffered injuries to key players, De Bruyne has been out at certain periods, Rodri has been out at certain periods, not to forget that they've also lost like Edison too, Edison, Edison, Edison too just came back. Edison is also yeah. Edison too has been out, just came back. Not to mention that they lost Gundogan last summer. They lost Mares last summer. Laporte, his importance to the team was dwindling, but he's still a very good player to lose to any team. So the fact that all of these things have happened, yet City are still in the position they are in, is a very scary thing for me because it means City at maybe eighty percent, seventy percent are still better than the rest of us at 100%. That's just how I see it. And here's the thing about the position Arsenal are in right now. When you're not a team that is a winning team, losing a game like this, it is very, very damaging. Because if City loses a game right now, there's nobody who can tell me that, oh, the next game to them will lose. Maybe they'll go on a three-game losing streak or something. But when you're a team like Arsenal who... You are not really a winning team unless you want to count the FA Cup from when four years ago or something. They are not a winning team. They are a team that is getting there. I'll give it to them. They are building. They are doing impressive things. They've made huge strides this season, but they are not a winning team. We've not seen them win properly. So we are not a team that is known to be a winning team, a team that is known to be resilient. A defeat like this is very damaging because the thing is, your fixtures are always as easy as your last results. If you're on a 10-game winning streak, every game you see on your fixture list looks very winnable. You go see City self, you go talk to the whole City self, you go feel money to do something against them. But the moment you lose in a very damaging way like they did on Sunday, suddenly every game looks like a banana skin. Right now you see Wolves, you say, mm, this put them go feel do something. You see everything, then you think, hmm, this put in the need point to then go feel me out of my eye, do something. That's just how it is. So if you are not like mentally strong, if you don't show a certain level of mental strength, it's going to damage you very, very in a in a huge way. And the thing is, right now you're in a position where even if it doesn't damage you, Arsenal could come back and win all the remaining games and still not win the league because you are going up against a master who, <laughs> like, he, he too is, they are also very capable of winning all the remaining games. So you could be in a position where it's like Liverpool in the two times that they finish second by like one point or something. You finish very strongly, but you still don't win the league. Because Liverpool, when they didn't win the league, I wouldn't call it bustling. I wouldn't say they weren't at their best. The thing is, me, the way I see it, if you even manage to reach the 90 points mark, it means you deserve to win the league. That's just how I see it. If you manage to reach 90 points, you deserve to win the league. If you don't win the league, it means you are going up against a huge monster who has prevented you from winning the league. So, like, I wouldn't say that you bottled it because you reached 90 points, but City finished with 99 points, or City finished with 95 points. Even City finished with 91 points and finished with 90. I wouldn't say you bottled the league. The problem is that you did your best, but your best wasn't good enough. And that's the situation they are in right now. They were in a, they were in a situation where City were behind them, so even you can manage to just keep winning your games and then hope that uh, it's either you win all your remaining games and City also win their remaining games, but because you already built up a lead, you win the league. Or City managed to somehow drop points. I know they still have games in their remaining fixtures that look like banana skins. Tottenham have been their biggest uh, banana skin for the past how many years. There are still games that they can drop points in. But the thing is, who over here can bet against City to drop points in this position? We've seen them win, what, 18 games to finish the season before. There will be five games where they're not going to do. So for you to give away that lead 
and now put City in this two points cushion. Two points cushion for City is like a ten points cushion for someone else. That's how me I see City there. Like they are not a team that I want to be chasing at all in in this type of position. We've seen them build over and over again. So yes, honestly, I see it's like it's a done deal for them. Two, it might seem like two points on paper, but for the type of mental damage that it will cause to you. And for the team you are going up against, it might as well be like six points. Uh, Corey, I'd like to throw a question to you before we hear from, hear from the other take that. Um, Arsenal, this t- Arsenal this time last season su- uh, suffered damaging draws, which effectively ended their title charge. West Ham, um, so th- Yeah, yeah. Uh, then a City loss, then, you know, tr- picked up picked up three points against um, Chelsea and then Newcastle. So I don't we, I don't think anybody wants to kind of remember that because you guys might have felt like you had that that similar patch of bad form in December. So April, seeing that you've been there before, seeing what it effectively costed you the last time around, it, it, this is where the test of how far these boys have come begins to show. Do you think one there was a bit of arrogance um, in a, in approaching the game yesterday, and do you think that with this thing you can effectively, I don't say copy, but look for inspiration to what Pep's team have done before and go on to win every single game? Because right now the gauntlet has been thrown down, the league has effectively been handed over to uh, Manchester City, and right now you guys have to do the chasing. Whereas you were the chasers before last week. <laughs> you had the ch- you had the chase before last week. Sorry, yeah, yes. you weren't being chased um, before last week. Yeah. <laughs> the current state suggests the league is o- over. The current state, based on history and everything, you've given City. A t- us, Smiley said, a two point gap for City is like ten points for another team. To be honest, I just said this after the game. In another league, if you go on a run that we we we've been on. You, you managed to get an eight-point lead, a six-point lead. Dude, no matter how many games you win in this things, these niggas are still on your ass. Like, they just don't fucking go away. They just don't go away. Yesterday's game, I don't think it was a matter of arrogance. It's it's football. It happens. Nobody, nobody thought Liverpool were going to lose to Palace. They, they lost. I didn't think we were going to lose to Aston Villa, 100%, given your, your receipts. But... Your words, so don't say no words. Words. Say your words. Say your words, please. I just I'm the, the messenger. I, no, no, no. I'm the messenger. Fair Make enough. it just but... given my previous comments. Oh, can, can I, 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 can my I, previous can I, can I talk? <laughs> you, you see, you made me lose my train of thought. Sorry, um, sir. Sorry, sir. Given, given what I was said. Given, 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 given the receipts last time. You've seen that, yeah. yeah. Given the receipts, I, I, I expected us. To win the game. I don't think the boys were, were arrogant. I think the team was set up to win the game. The first half, they should have been three three goals ahead even before all this shit happened. And we wouldn't even be having this conversation. But as football has it, we went. Trussard missing from three yards out. Martinez super save. Like, I mean, it just... it just. I, 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 if, if Trussard scores that goal, game state changes. Game state changes and you have a, a better chance to, to go and finish up the game. I, 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 even if they score, maybe, maybe you draw or, 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 or something. But I, I, don't, I don't think they were arrogant. I think they are, men, they are mentally strained. But you've been here before. And I just said this yesterday. If one game loss, go fit through all the work you do throughout the season, as it did last season... Bro, just let's pack it up now. Let's 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 stop this trying, the the this all, all of this trying to win the league. Let's let's stop it. If one game in the running Goffy sport sport that and it's it's, it's only because City have set this standard of if you do not win all your games from January to the end of the season, forget it. These niggas like everybody expects City to to. Win every game to the end of the se- to the end of the season, as they m- most likely will. But again, it's football. I don't think it's, it's over. Everybody else has has risen as of practice over there doing his smiles. And they were doing but, intro. And they were doing intro. <laughs> but 
I mean, tough result to 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 take. They have to take take it on the chin because it was all them. I don't. I don't think. I, I, I don't. I'm, I'm hoping. I'm I'm hoping a vic, I'm hoping uh, the match against Bayern. That could be slippery, bro. Because me, I've watched this movie before. That that could be very slippery. I, I saw you gave the same Bayern. metaphor last yesterday. <laughs> yeah, they they win against Bayern, and I think that's they can go on to do something for the rest of the se- se- season. But they lose against Bayern, and I, 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 at this stage, I don't know what two the defeats is gonna do. I, at this stage, I need two two defeats in two different competitions, three days apart. I mean, the nice thing is that you have three days, you no know, next game, to 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 put it right. But what is correct? Okay, but <laughs> yes. but um, if they can do so, so, something, anything is possible. But City have set a standard where if you're not perfect. It's it's yeah. over, and I don't honestly. There was a lot of reactionary fans yesterday. Everybody was losing their shit because of the standard that City has set. But Charlie, calm down. It's one is 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 one game you've lost. It. It's the first game we've lost in twenty twenty four. I mean, it's the boys try. Mm-hmm. Let's see what they, they can do for the rest of the season. I don't think it's over. Everybody's written the the league off, but I don't think it's all over. I I I will wait till the end of the season to make my judgment. Okay. Before I go to crack, Vangela, yes. I will go. Me, I get two questions. First of all, if the season finish, where judgment again you go make. The season you finish, you see where you end. You don't know, judge anything again. Worry. The judgment you know, is my team. They're it's my, it's, there, so it's judging again, by you know? my team and understanding where, where my team is. It has nothing to do with you. So what are you talking about? Maza, 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 Maza. Jack, I'm JT. What would be the second question? <laughs> The mm-hmm. second question, you know, he says something along the lines of yesterday there were a lot of reactionary. It's not reactionary. People have said things. And me, for one, I said, I will wear, I will be there. Inshallah, I will be there. And I've, I'm here. You see, it's not like people were reactionary. Oh my God, well, how can they do this? That, no. It pained them because they've said things. I remember Arsenal fans said, Enna. Their current team is even better than that Bayern 2012-2013 team or something like that. Hey, they were comparing Ribery versus Saka. Uh, uh, Martinelli versus uh, uh, this Robin, the, Robin, Robin, Robin. the guy. Robin Dennis. Hey, Ribery was up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then Google, it, that's 0-0 zero, zero ball first, then the City go play. And, and I come see triangles, then, then they're my tactical. You see, if, if it's the things you've said, it's the things that Arsenal fans have said that people have bookmarked and have been waiting to be there and thankfully are there. That's what is coming up again. So it won't be reactionary like, oh my days, we are dead. No. This will be like if your big birthday SS where he fuck up the he fuck up the in, in juniors no. Where you, you let where he left. Where you you come no. <laughs> so they let me your seniors right now. So you can come meet all the beaters way. There are people that they hate your brother. <laughs> my girl, my girl is here. Even in defeat yesterday, they still they show arrogance. I see some argument on the TL today. Then they talk say club he be inferior to Arteta. He don't fit coach a team to play good football like Arteta. And Sorry. that club, he only the coach long ball to the wingers. Then they run, 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 go score. But they don't fit do intricate passes. I mean, even in defeat, then they go down swing, you know. <laughs> Ali, you know, you know the funniest. <laughs> sorry, sorry, okay. But for me, the funniest ones have been them comparing Ateta to Javi and Jabi. That Enna Ateta is the is the superior one, and that the thing is that new at uh, new Pep is going up against uh, so Pep. He be the ultimate Spaniard. He be the he be the new Pep. That be why they say the only reason why he's in there. Lag, the lag, <laughs> they say the only reason why he no win the league is because. He they go up against Pep. Now, if Pep no day there, like he, by now he win like two. He wa, I want. I just want to say that Javi, 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 Barcelona. He won his league title in the second, in his second year. Javi Alonso has won it in his first full year as a manager. This is Atleta's fifth year. That be all me. I want to take. Thank you. Sorry. So we shall end this segment with our, our resident undertaker, who shall give a monologue on yesterday's proceedings and events so jack would you take, take us away 
One minute, one minute, one minute. Mama, mama, so get forms. Hello, hello. Belagua. Awake. Botic. Munja bottle here. Stop, stop doing bottles. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop doing bottles. Stop, stop. You can't compete. You can't compete. Original bottlers. Landing printing press. Sa so winners of 2024 normal printing. You know. Ship it to Africa. You better throw a full slide. You get money. Bed down boutique. Yeah. 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 Am I talking to the Prime Minister? Uh, yes. NHS. Go, go. Go to Emirates. Go and check over the greatest conference call ever. Niamma Koso. Niamma the greatest conference call ever. Things are happening. Things are happening. Things are happening. <laughs> Things are really, really happening. So, Emirates, good evening. Good evening. Fantastic. 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 This, this is from Sheikh. We'll transfer the money to you tomorrow. You did a good job. Because yeah, as you right. see, when you are paid for your job, yeah. That hundred million grillish, they'll add more. <laughs> they'll add more. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, good evening. Talk to you later. Good evening. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm putting it out. Corey. I'll finish the call. Bye bye. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> wait, you know, who telephone, you know, the whole mobile, you know, the telephone, whole telephone. Oh, 2024, the whole telephone, he charge them the international tariff. <laughs> so there'll be proper roaming. <laughs> Curry, see, let me tell you something, right? I love you, my brother, you know, <laughs> but the game is a game. <laughs> to charge you to the game. And I hate it to be you. But it is you. <laughs> See, like yesterday, like we actually had no plans of watching the game. Me, Kawawa, Chris, Mike, Philemon, and them. We just go chop fufu. Yes, yeah, I come from church. I did relax. We we did there. We plan to go chop fufu later. I get some work shoot to do. So, so we go finish chop fufu for Mauli's. We then with the chat. We we see one body chair. So we see oh Mokuto. We then so the Moku go finish up for beer garden. I forget to, but Mike will love football pass anybody for the world. He already know we start watch for a foot. I will go catch beer guard. No, ah, hey, as soon as you say, I'm like, okay. Well, before the match, I was actually saying that oh, as now, as now can do something, they can smack the lions. Oh, a hey, bobo, near bobo, no, no, oh, the guard. <laughs> The Martinez save a show and the guard was rallying the fans. Hey, hey, hey. There you see Eba. There you see the Eba and of a four euro. That winger over there. I have from the second. The only player. Yes, they call him Limpupu. They said they call him Limpupu because. On no coin, anytime there's a stinker, he limps. So, such a player, it's called Limpopo. So, you know that song? Oh, yeah, Limpopo. Corey, I'll be the guy that song. And I actually said it. After they went up one hour, I actually predicted that no. If this thing continues, definitely they are going to do that. Eh, hey, Saka is going to do that. And he did that. That Leon Bailey go eh, when he hit the net. Look, I never screamed go like that before because I just wanted to sing the song to Corey. No need as now by ye be ye. What you guys go chop uh, make dog chop. You are not seeing that title. It will go an uh, extra ten years. Me, eh, I don't even have it don't be the Arsenal fans every way at the at the detest to it be that the coach at that time. His antics, his antics uh, um when he's on the sideline. This guy, this guy moves mad. He moves like he's a coach that is a proven winner. He moves like he's a world-class coach. He moves like he can rub shoulders with the best. Always yelling, shouting at referees, acting like they're always cheating him. His antics, like, I hate it. For a coach that has won one trophy in five years. And that trophy that he won, Seth, he didn't start the season. 
it was good evening that started that season. I'd already advanced Arsenal to the knockout stages before Ateta took over. He came to succeed. Good evening. He won half season. All his full seasons. He hasn't sniffed the title. Last season, you led City with eight points with seven games to go or something like that. You lost. But somehow, you are two points behind them. They, do, they are not facing any big team and you think they will drop points. Look, you know what I really realized that Pep was mad yesterday? No, two days today, Saturday. They were leading one nil into the half and they were all mad, like one nil. They knew that the goal difference would be a problem. So Charlie, they were all mad. That's when I realized that when they come second, they are going to smack these niggas. KO tweeted, Leon Bailey, what do you have for me? Two minutes later, And the Jamaican, the Rice MP man, the Leviat, me no crazy. He, see, he the Leviat, my bum, 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 the bum, the ball into the net. A shout, Jamaica, 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 Leon Bailey. I want to say, I want to say, I want to say, bum, bum, See, yesterday I really wanted to play. Oh, love is wicked, 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 wicked. See, football is wicked, though. Corey is never forgiving. You know that thing where you suffered for years? You you guys should have been in a place where you knew nothing good was coming out of us now. So you know you detach yourself. But this one is the hope. Two years in a row. This season, you go trophy less. Market, and then the second goal, Oli Watkins. What ah? What a goal! Oh, what a finish! What a striker! Two nil pa. Chip. Warren, chip. Ten, Warren, ten chip. minutes after the ten minutes after the goal, no Limpopo started limping, as usual. Nobody was surprised. They tried, as they said, Rega fought valiantly. Rega fought honorably, and Rega died. That's all I have to say. Game of okay. Thrones. <laughs> this one day, what be the producers? Their name DB and DB or D and D. D and D, fucking D and D. They could have written, written a better you, script for us. Maybe you can spoil my mood, self. <laughs> all right, um, we spent a good chunk on Arsenal. I think it's it will be a disservice if we didn't discuss Liverpool as well, the other title contender. Now, they had a much more troubling week. Um, after not only able to... That's not Drew Bayern, right? But Liverpool lost at home against Atalanta. Previous week, uh, they, drew, they drew at Old Trafford. And this week, they lost to Palace. So it's been quite a tough week on Klopp's farewell tour. Now... <laughs> I don't want to say whether it's going to be affecting them or whatever, but like, I'll, I'll leave the question open up to you guys. Whether the announcement came a bit too early, you know, and that is that impacting them a little bit? Because you've heard talks from Van Dyke, you know, not really insinuating whether he's going to commit beyond <laughs> beyond the season. Uh, Salah as well. You you then be left with Nunes, Diaz, Jota. Jota too is now coming back, so maybe you might see it. Lap time and form, but right now the frustrations with Darwin are much more evident because you know for every goal that he scored, he he misses about twenty chances. So right now the twenty chances, everyone has seen it. So is that he's going to now turn and form, and then that that will then reignite their charge, or this might be a long-standing um, effect on them. Yeah, I leave the I leave the, the question open up to you guys. If, if anyone wants to fix it. First of all, the Liverpool Palace game, sometimes game football, if it'll you know be your game, it'll be your game. Because all those chances that I saw them missing throughout the game, these are chances that when they were playing against United and they beat us 7 0, they were scoring all of them. Suddenly, clear cut chances like left, right, they are not able to score. It was very, very crazy to me. Kind of last ditch defending Crystal Palace did. You hardly see a team do, do last ditch defending for like. 45 minutes. 
the team doesn't even manage to score one. It was very, very crazy to me. But then, yeah, for Liverpool in general, <laughs> honestly, I thought this club farewell tour was going to go better than it was. Because me, I really thought the press were going to try and give him a proper, proper send-off. Now, you know, it didn't even click for me that it's now three games in a row till Kyo mentioned it. In my mind, it was just the Atlanta 3-0 and then this one. It's now clicking that it's three games in a row that this has been going on for. It's, it's, it's a very disappointing end to the season for them. But at the same time, yeah, I kept saying that Liverpool, of all the teams in the title race, they were the most um, underwhelming one. No, not underwhelming, but the ones who impressed me the least. Because in all the games that they were even winning, it was never um, very, very dominant. Like, the, for the past few weeks, there's always been games where they score the winner in the final 10 minutes, final 15 minutes. It's mm, never they're always like, coming back from it. They're always coming, coming back, back from it. Yeah, like, at least with Arsenal, they won such a, like, a number of games, 5-0, 6-0, City there, like, they... In the end, they won't, they won't win. They have their spirit, own spirit, spiritual, spiritual. Spirit, yeah. But Liverpool, it was like, you could tell that they were stretching themselves to win games. And to be going up against two teams in the title race, it was never going to end well. But the one that shocked me the most was the Atlanta one, because I thought that the Europa was a wrap. But at the same time, it just goes to show you that Europa, they like, I know they follow any logic. Europa would I love, I love that your tweets, no? I love that your tweets. <laughs> Europa, if you do inside, when you do your body say, me, Europa, self, we know for day here, we are better than everybody there. Then we'll show you, say, hey, you're better than everybody here. Okay, let me see. Europa, the thing about Europa is if you do inside, if you commit to 100%, put to your mind that, yes, we are in it to win it, is the most important thing for us. Because Spoken if you like do, a true football heritage guy. <laughs> bro, you yeah, know when the bash proud. Exactly. Because <laughs> if you do... Do your mind say, yeah, even though we know one day here, yeah, we go try to do the win now, just to say we could make happy and says, Mourinho, the time we, you know, the United, we only won it once. That was under Mourinho. That whole season, Mourinho, they tried like we say, Europa is the most important competition. If you look at the quality of teams inside, it's on the same level as Champions League. And Ajax are inside. Ajax have won the Champions League four times. So that's the caliber of teams in Europa. He like we sat across the line. If you watch, Chelsea too. Every time Chelsea did inside, then they take them very, very personal. They are the only other English team that's won it in the past over is it 20 years or so. Uh, Atletico, Simeone too. Every time Atletico did inside, Simeone, you know that he, no matter what competition he's in, he's going to give it his all. Those are the type of teams that if you be big team where you did inside, that's the kind of mentality that you have to have. If you do your body, say you big part of the competition, forget you can't do that thing that you will take Europa, rotate your players, then you will rest players here, yeah, you will do this. Oh, then I want you know, to say, we, we that every time we did Europa, we did winner. Every time we did it, we did winner. We, we did it twice. We did them twice. I don't want to talk about some team where them come there. The last time they come there, we did them. <laughs> we should. 100, okay, 100, 100%. Child, the, 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 love, the love drop real quick. I don't know why we give them a chance to cry at all. Uh, so... <laughs> Yeah. So, but, uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, like this is the last thing. Honestly, it's hard for me to not see it's like the club announcements is also not playing a part because even though they've had plenty of injuries and stuff, in two thousand and one when Fergie announced that he was retiring, he announced in January or something. From there, the whole season just collapsed. At the time, United were first. The whole season collapsed. Arsenal went on to win the title. So that's why in 2013, when he decided that he was going to retire, he decided to keep it a secret till the end of the season because somehow the players go feet down to, even if it's not intentional, at the back of your mind, it, I think it has a psychological effect. And I think to some extent, th in this case, I wouldn't say it's totally down to that, but I think parts, it might have um, a part to play in this. Sometimes, actually, just keep it inside try and see how the season lets everybody think that yeah, you're fighting toe-to-toe -to -toe with everybody. So that's like, Why? you can see how the season. That's... Pep, Pep for announced at the end Why? of this season say they leave. Why? What he has done in England, it's Why? okay. Get the hell out. It's we are tired. Even ah. he has done this enough. <laughs> ah, it's okay. 
Only, only you, you come on and you spend how many years? Every other season, every other uh, league in the go or two or three seasons, not there, you, Jimmy. You Charlie. want your things, get out. Ah, Charlie. See, Charlie. Wait, 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 now wait, that, wait, this? You know that right now, uh, in the top five leagues in Europe, England now has the one team that has done the like, longest uh, title winning streak because now that Leverkusen has broken Bayern's streak right now, EPO will come see four feet most likely. Tell me why? Who would they lie when everybody say uh, this is the most competitive Best league in the world? Yeah, Best yeah. league, blah, blah, blah. See what they do. Kill. Mm. Kill. Okay. Um, so I would. There I'll pose a question. I, mean, I, I wanted I, to I'm comment on Liverpool and Klopp. It's a question about Liverpool and Klopp. Do you want to wait for me to pose the question, or you want to? Give me one minute. I want to start. I want to start by saying that I, I, I don't know what we are expecting from a manager who likes to collect relationships and not trophies. I don't know what we were expecting for somebody like that. That Freddie you won't come for club. Pity club is taking us to the top Freddy one. Come for you. Cup one, then then. If he if I go for it, not be me. Man, I did doing body or aura amorim or no sort of back or have a fear. And we'll see how that will go. I'm not I'm not surprised by Liverpool's school. I think they've Smiley has a thing he says Liverpool has a uh, Smiley has a thing that says that water always finds its level. And it's Collapse. True. Yeah, Liverpool have been playing on fumes. <laughs> Look, this this losing, not playing well, performances, well a deep performance streak. So I started the time that they had all those injuries and they were playing uh, academy players. That's when it should have started. But they were overperforming their XG at that time. You know, then we'll get some one chance B, then 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 they go we'll score. Then that'd be all. Then but me, I knew that the day will come and the day is here. That my hate watching will come to a good conclusion. You you, you make a guy. The, from the United time or they say Kunati don't start, no? but Kwanza will start. So <laughs> why club the like do so? Kunati start the last two games. <laughs> Chop four goals. Bro, I have one last question. I have one last question. What is it with That's Liverpool crazy. and the slip when they are in a running? Question for the goals. Yeah. No answer. Just Freddy and the boys, you go free tell me the answer. Bro, that should have been a goal. We can't push the agenda because it didn't end up in a goal. It should have been a goal. It would have been perfect. Like, it should have been yeah. a perfect story. Nah. History. Bro, every piece. Poetic. Like, yeah. Poetic. And that probably the would guy, have been the guy be African. The guy, the guy be African. The guy be African. He gets, mm. he spreads the watch out. Also, one uh, last thing I would talk. This, one last thing I would talk. This is Salah has been very, very terrible since like he came back from Afcon. So I think that was also another major factor in how the season is going for them. Like he's by his terrible. standards, by his standards, by his standards. Yeah, by his standards. Mm. You see, you people are dancing around a lot of things. The catalyst for all of this is no, 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 no. So can't show we flow X eh? What, what, what is? <laughs> ah. the, 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 yeah, the catalyst for all this be Nunu Milk. You can't miss 35 big chances and expect like your team to win a major... T- Are you mad? Look, that guy is one of the worst strikers I've ever seen. You then give you money, <laughs> go buy player. You take 100 million, go buy Nunes. Chaos ball, chaos ball. Where you want to do what? Look, let me tell you something. Liverpool, look, beginning of the season, nobody... Could, could truly believe Liverpool was going to win except Liverpool fans and the pundits that love Liverpool. Truly, truly, I didn't see Liverpool even challenging for the title. I'm not going to lie. People are talking about the club and the club announcements rather has done more to them than rather hate them. It's getting to the latter stages that they are flopping. But it was after that, this one, that the case rallied to beat Chelsea to win the Carabao. They were picking up games here and there and all those it was after that announcement and lo and behold they were like oh and now we are going to uh, um four pits quadruple as if four pits quadruple we are going to win the champions league a uh, europa league win the title win carabao win fa cup for club the perfect way to end and we are going to release the <laughs> the the movie after and all those things. I mean, the two of God punish them. The umbe bressa, umbe bressa. That coach that they think they are more or bad, what umbe bre? They are going back into the gulag. They don't see anything. Okay, let me wrap up EPL then. Uh, I will 
leave some question for me all. So is the title done. I think the changes will happen within second and third position. Changes to happen. But first position power. Why not that city? I mean, look, something can happen. Like City can drop to but second fair, fair, yeah, for some it's, it's, it's few it's it's hours, it's but oh, like one game, the something like then go play Sunday, so as Arsenal win, one, they go, one, go one, first, one, then one, City go can play later, then but one game week. I think, I, I think, I think we'll be pushed all the way. I'm, I'm not saying we'll get an Aguero moment, but something, something will happen. Something will happen. Corey, to see believe day. Everybody has wrapped up. I haven't. I'm waiting till the end of the season. Wrap it up, nigga. Sorry. <laughs> Never say that until the bulls are rotting. I I I only wrap it. I only I only I only concede defeat. I only concede the, the defeat when it's mathematically impossible. So yeah, you only let's concede. See. For, 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 football is a funny game. As there's no point in supporting. Right. There's no point in Look, you just, watching I, if, if you're going to give up now. So, me, I still do. Inshallah. We will okay. be there. Allah. 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 You know, we we know what it is. Ah, uh, Rose. Ah, uh, Rose. Ah, uh, Rose. Uh, Rose. Uh, Rose. Uh, we go do quiet, we we'll go do quiet while this is. But yeah, that, that watch party, be like for organizer. All right, let's end this. We, we've we spent a whole lot on, we've actually done one with time, but. Um, piece of history was written over the weekend as well. Leverkusen, Bayer Leverkusen, in the Bundesliga, won their first uh, title, ending Bayern's what eleven year or thirteen year, eleven year, eleven year, eleven year uh, streak, winning back to back to back, and also ending effectively Kingsley Coleman's lucky streak of <laughs> winning a league mm-hmm. title every year since he started playing professional football. That's it. I still hey, don't about. Are you kidding? Do you know how stupid that's, that's, that's a statistic is? That's a stupid but, statistic, bro. <laughs> and you know, the craziest thing is that in the 11 years, he's won 12. Because he yeah. won two in one season. Yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> crazy. And he win the World Cup. Yeah, France. Um, 2018. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's pass that thing. I beat them. Then Bele no go. Then Bele no go. He finished football, though. He finished. He completes football. Oh, he knows the champion. That's why he did the head head by heart. He didn't win the champions. Yes, yes, he won the champions. Yes, yes, he won the champions. He's won the champions league. Flick, flick, yeah. Flick, flick, yeah. Flick, he has won everything. Wow. He be crazy. okay. But yeah, um, obviously, congratulations to Bayer Leverkusen. They are still the ambition team in Europe, which is wild, right? In all competitions, they are in the Poco, um, they are in I want to say Europa, no conference. Very and, much, they, and then like in the semis. No, yeah, oh, no, they're, 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 they're still West they're still there. They're playing West 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 about one yeah. foot in the semis. Yeah, yeah, no, three, was it three? Was it three nil or two nil? Two nil, two nil, two nil, two nil bashing. And that was a way. They also then that went back to the <laughs> Bayer Arena, mm. <laughs> and they've completed. Westam had one shot on goal, one shot. So they more is you know I go hear him, but <laughs> I think there was an act. There was a there was a, a, hypo, a hypothetical online, which I was interested in. Uh, Smiley to also brought the topic to the group chat that should Bayer complete an invisible invincible treble. Would that be considered the greatest sporting achievement in f- club football? And I want to say yes, because irrespective, this is a top league. If Bundesliga said I might be third among the top five, if not second, because there will be yeah, England, they, they Spain, and Germany. They, they no, no, they're in top five, but I said I'll, I'll, I'll rank them third over league A and then. Um, well, well, yeah, well. Syria. Syria. My, my point is that irrespective of, of whether it be run three or run, do they, if they do that shit, you 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 gotta give them you gotta give them top five. Fights, bro. So winning that a continental is, that cup, is an incredible feat. Winning your domestic league and winning a domestic cup, 
which in itself is the treble, but then to do it with their resources. And like, I want to put this in context because me I already knew that um, when he took over the team, they were like bottom to last or something like that. Second from bottom. But, and this was his first senior management position. He took them, uh, he, he took over like in half the season going, so it was just about staying up and then have immediately transformed them. Right? Zero defeats, 43 consecutive games and beaten in all competitions. And this is full managerial debut, which other teams were looking to pick him up, but then he then came out and said, nope, I ain't going nowhere. Job's not finished. Job finished? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> so, for the foreseeable future, he is staying with Leverkusen. There will be always links to the Madrid job because it'd be like, if 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 Carlo left out, they will want to bring in somebody, and these kids are ready to pick. But the, I won't, I, won't, I mean, I've answered the question as to whether that would be considered the greatest sporting, um, I think mean, the greatest sporting achievement in club football by winning an invincible treble. So what say you guys? You, or people will still go pick Leicester. Uh, make a start. Uh, sorry, I want to start by adding a little more content. You say you say, last season you said that. The, it was all about survival. He picked them second to bottom and they finished sixth. Just putting that there. They finished mm. sixth and they qualified for Europe. Now, in addition to that, in his first full season, they, they are currently unbeaten and they've won the ball. Bro, they, them gap by an arm, a Bayern self congratulated them. Do you, know, do you know how serious of a gap you have to give Bayern Munich in the Bundesliga for them to congratulate you like four weeks ago? Say, Congratulations! I mean, they, our they, they were the butt of uh, they were the butt of a joke for the longest time. Never cruising. I think Bro. they hold the record for almost winning, <laughs> almost winning it, <laughs> almost winning it. Tottenham, the Marcus won't be that. But <laughs> the point is, see, personally, I don't see how how any other team tops it. Maybe I, I, I don't know history too much. So some team did somewhere way they do better. Before. But, yeah, but in modern history. And in football, as I know it, I think this is European football. European, football. European football. Let's put European that, football. Let's put that, let's put that, let's put that You know, it, me, I, I, it is uh, it, for me. I think they are the best. Personally, I think they are the best. I, I think, I think it's incredible what they've done this league. This the quality of football. You know, and it's not like he has the best tools at his disposal. And I don't think Bayern have as much money as Leicester has. It might be I might be wrong, and it might not make sense. Uh, what well, what I'm saying, but I don't think Bayern is as rich, or the ownership of Bayern have as much money as Leicester. Please, if I'm wrong, listeners, just I know I know they are owned by a pharmaceutical company, and that that um that structure in Germany are fifty plus one. So Mac, no, buy 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 yeah buy a buy a buy a pharmaceutical yeah. company. So yeah. Um, so they, 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 and always and always they what their model is pick because I read an article they pick up young talent you know mm -hmm. train them up to a certain level and then sell them off so that's how come they are always kind of close to the title but never really win it so in recent memory was um, okay. Harvard we left there um, yeah, Bailey you know Bailey as well I think Patrick Schick at one point in time like they've had a couple of stars who who have come there and then just left. So personally, I, I personally I, I just think it, to answer the question directly, I think that's the, this is the greatest I have seen. Should they do? Should they do it? Should they do it? Should they complete the season and actually do it? Because that's the question. If they if they are able to, if they are able to, go, if they are able to do it, I might even argue that 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 this is even more impressive than the Arsenal Invincible. But hey, what do I know? I mean, like if you are winning the league, it is more impressive. Other, it is more impressive. Yeah, because it's it, it's not even uh, 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 like it's, it's not even debatable. Mm. If you win a uh, European league, uh, your local league, then cup all I'm beating. Come on, bro, who's done that? Like, like even Straight. if they manage to do it, Straight. even if they manage to do it, not unbeaten. Like for the fact that it's three trophies for actually the fact Facts. that is it, you know for me it's very crazy to me that it's their first title ever because the last episode when i was talking about it i said that it's going to be their first title in like 30 years or something not knowing that they never won them before 120 that is a very, very important 
factor. Because, you know, when um, I saw the debates online, people kept talking about how, yeah, Leverkusen, they're a big team in Germany and everything. But the thing is, if they've never won the title before and you pick them from second bottom to this, like, you have to consider all of this. It's not like he picked the Leverkusen of 2002 when they go to the Champions League semi-final or Leverkusen of, like, some few years ago when they go to the Champions League round of 16. Yeah, talking about Leverkusen that was second from bottom. They've been overtaken in recent years by Dortmund and um, Leipzig and even, like, it's, it's it's been a lot. They've been through a lot in the past few seasons. It's been very rough for them. So, taking them from where they were, like, it's made a mockery of all the excuses we've been making for our managers that, oh, we need, like, four years to build something. We need time. Expectations need are different than then. Yeah. We need to sign 10 new players, rebuild this, do this, do that. Like, it's made a mockery of all of those things because you're going against a team like Bayern. The thing is, Bundesliga, if you be Bayern, they win now. Yes, I'm not going to rate them that much because they're the best team in the league. But if anybody else wins it, it's a huge achievement. It's just like well, winning... Except Dortmund. Why Dortmund, they piss their guys off. Except Dortmund. That's what they piss their guys off. The last day, like, speaking of Dortmund, this is exactly what they were supposed to do last season. See how people they do them. Um, you need to win a game five nil. No doubt in anybody's mind. No biting of nails. Nothing. You win Same way, no need the point. So make you not know, give them chance one safe. They didn't need do, the points. Do you know how they impressive wouldn't gone up, they wouldn't have gone down? You win five do, nil. No like, nerves. It's ridiculously nothing. impressive to come and beat. A team five nil to win your trophy, like that is the most disrespectful Jay. shit. Like it was, it's such a fuck off win. Uh, like just fuck off and give the title. Like we will if, not if, get time if, to give these Patrick Dentes, John Green, like they win the title. Yeah. And Kassa. See, if if I'll, if I'll if, like, if you people finish the answer or Gerald, me because it's an agenda. I won't push. I won't ask some questions. See me. See I honestly, think... I'll lie. on this. I'm coming on, on this final game. Like. On this last game, I'm like, I thought they were going to draw the game and maybe extend it by another week or something. Because I just felt like maybe the nerves or something will catch them. But Charlie, ah, Boniface yeah. will delete the attack. That guy, the hard guy. <laughs> Charlie, in, in okay, where you go? <laughs> on you, invisible, invisible I mean, trouble there, Charlie. Be crazy. Saturday, yes. Saturday morning, a friend of mine was going to bed and he was like, "Hey, Charlie, by Leverkusen, when they win." The match they are winning the league, so they might drop points today. Or something. I was like, You're mad. I watched them against West Ham in Europa, and I realized that look, these boys don't play like for 90 minutes, they'll be on your neck. They know what they, they are playing, they know their style, they know their position. No ego, everybody's working for the team movement, everything is in sync. Like, it was just beautiful to watch them. I know people like to be prideful of their league. I mean, EPO fans, we do that a lot. And me, like I for once, I don't care about that. Pep has done it four times, so your league is weak, all of them. I don't give a fuck. I've never seen City as a competition. I've never seen City as a competition. Pep is not a bum. Pep is a world-class coach who has met money. If he isn't doing this, then he's an idiot. Because... I, I don't get it. Like, he should actually be winning more than one Champions League. That's the greatest feat, not the Premier League. Uh, you win out four times, so what? Fergie did it three times. I'm coming to do it four times. Haha, <laughs> cool. That's nice. Man. Yeah, good coach. It's expected for each every win. You should win every, every year. So if you are doing it, we don't give a fuck. My own is. In all of Bayern Munich's domination, they've they've not gone the league, they've not gone unbeaten in the league to win the league. The times that they were dominating with Ribery, Robin, smacking everybody, even challenging Dortmund back and forth, all those no, years, Dothian, even no, when Dothian. Dortmund was still falling, even with and, yes, Pep. and they were winning by 60, 16 points. And Pep Guardiola, Epito, that time playing four one four one, dominating every game. People were saying it's boring to watch their matches. Lam, Lam, he still Lam didn't go backs, DM, yeah, 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 all that. <laughs> Changles. He didn't go on meet it. This guy was unknown. He hadn't gotten a chance. He came. He saw but the brain was came. there. The brain was Not there. In two years, 
the guy didn't need two years, three years, four years. Old. He has done it in a year and a half. And he has done it so remarkably that you can't point to the fact that he has bought a 90 million player. He has bought a 17 million player. He has done this. Like, people are comparing Leicester to them and it's like, Leicester spent. Leicester was bought by a billionaire. They pumped money into the, into the league. What they did, Leicester's win was amazing. But it wasn't unbeaten. Leicester didn't win chance. by 16. Leicester didn't win by 16 points. Leicester didn't gap anybody. Leicester still needed favors from it, from um, Chelsea against Spurs and things to celebrate. They were on their nerves. And this not guys, to diminish Leicester's win. This not to diminish. Leicester's exactly. Win. We are not even mm. diminishing that. We are saying what they did was great. It's one of the it's one of the best wins in 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 in, in league history. That one there is there because nobody ever saw it coming and they did it. But whatever I go, you say Ranieri wasn't a slouch. He was an experienced coach. They had that. This team, new coach, first timer, come, smack everybody, pa 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 pa, has a chance of winning a treble. It's not their fault. Bundesliga, we've seen Bayern Munich dominate, and everybody expects Lesbay and Dortmund to challenge Bayern Munich every season. Mm. Nobody had a Liverpool. <laughs> Nobody had a Liverpool. So, what he has done, I actually want him to go the season unbeaten. Then we cement him amongst one of the best the great. performances ever. Like, honestly, like, if, 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 if Xavier Lozo does this and he goes to another team safe and he flops, I will rate him highly forever because of what he has done. Because I always say this thing that the mark of a good coach is this because how many coaches can you put in a situation and do what he did? Boniface had an injury. He was sidelined for a long time. They still didn't lose a match. That's how good a team he had built is. I'm just happy somebody knocked Bayern Munich off the perch. I'm just sad that Hurricane couldn't get a title because I really wanted Hurricane to win something in the title, but he didn't get it. I'm just sad, but I know people want to protect their league, Leicester City, um, EPL Pride, and all those things. But what these guys have done, like, it's just remarkable. So, yeah, Corey, you don't get any submission. You know, you talk to yeah, you think that it's right because by the kissing. Dude, yeah. I, I don't think there's much more to, to, to say. If they go to season unbeaten, even look, I, I, like even if they don't do it unbeaten, he's still this is his first full C season. The guy chopped league already by 16 points. It's not like he played Bayern and drew the two games and then like he played Dosborn and drew a game. Dude, he, he smacked everybody. He's smacking everybody in Europe. It doesn't matter who, who, whether it's uh, Europa or or league, he's still doing the business, bro. And honestly, it's 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 beautiful to watch. Like watching their their celebrations yesterday, I was just like, man, that that is a team that has is hungry for a title. Like like that's a team that's hungry for for a title. You you can't say they they aren't up against. Uh, Good coaches or good teams, Bad is a good team. Dortmund is a good team. Leipzig is a good team. <laughs> like these, these are small teams we are mentioning, and they managed to do this. I really hope they can do it. Like at this point, I don't think anybody's hating on them to to mm. to not win it. Everybody wants them to win everything because it's, it's a beautiful story. And I mean, congratulations to to, to Chavi Alonso, but. They work like they work. They work their socks off in it. Like the games that you saw, I think it was the Carabag game. They played some team in the Europa Carabag or something. It was some game they were losing two nil. Bro, I've never seen a team score more goals between the eighty fifth minute and the ninety fifth minute before in my life. Like if you go watch their games and see how many games they have overturned in the last ten minutes, of, I, I don't know what he does. Where did you come from? 
who, who give, but that last 10 minutes, if you slack, if you, and they've had players that have, have been consistent, that Ritz guy or Ritz guy, that Jamano boy. Ritz, yeah. Bro, you're, they say, uh, final game, come, come win the game, win the tower, you, you come back. Actually, hey bro, who does Let me, I expect you say, Charlie, you go congratulate your former captain. Because me, the agenda won't push me. Well, I was getting there. Right now, how many players has now let go with, within two years now? They chop something. Like, this is going to be this the agenda. This, this is going to be, it's going to be the story for, 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 until we win a title. For, this, this is going to be the, yeah. the retro. Every time a player leaves a right. hey, you get that. It's 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 a model of it. I like we need some so 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 it's just a matter it's just a matter of 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 silencing that as long as you are up against this fucking spiritual monster like dude it, it happens but come, anyway congratulations to 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 buy the because man it, it, it's an amazing it, it, and and to 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 check I was actually very very ha 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 happy for him it's, it's uh, yeah he, all he, right he does it all right. All right, guys. Thank you for rocking with us at the end of that. I think that's the end of the episodes. I do want to, um, I do want to bring it to uh, bring it to context that we are still tracking the the FPL. We want to try and organize something, and uh, I think around that time, whoever is leaving the table, it seems like the chocolate FC guy there. He will he declare everybody, and Cole Palmer has done something absolutely disgusting today. Four goals. I don't even watch the game, but like just just to see Dude. that stat. Was it the previous game? Yeah, to Ivan had before. The per he just scored a perfect hat trick. All, all, all I can say is that he's got a left foot. But man, they smile, though. Hey, all I know is that he's got a left foot and right foot. Well, yeah, and, so, and then a penalty. Oh, so perfect. So that P perfect, perfect. I don't perfect, perfect hat trick. Yeah. Perfect, perfect hat trick and a perfect day out. Because the hat trick will be left foot, right foot, header. Left foot, header. Wait. Yeah. The penalty, you, know. you say you put the goal penalty match and make a sprinkle one for top, give the fans oh, for the match. I don't think, I don't think we need to mention go it. Go see, the go whole, see the, uh, go see uh, the Jackson. nonsense that they do over the penalty. Go see, dude, Jackson we, and, and, and you we, we go, we go address being... that later. We go address that later. Why, Jackson, why? Then they won't fight. Problem. Oh, oh, bro. No, the problem, it not be Jackson a problem. As a striker, he, you have to want to. Me, I don't get problem plus Jackson then. The forwards, everybody wants to up them and numbers. Vim. Yeah. My problem is that Pochettino refuses to pick the and penalties. say out loud to everybody that Kopama is the designated penalty taker. If he's on the pitch, he takes the penalty. Finish. No, I, th I, eh. I think this is good. I think this is good. Make everybody right now be selfish, then capitulate. So say if we get penalty right now, we uh, uh, the kiddies they can't fight fights before then go play the penalty. Say what? <laughs> what? Well, like what's the sense in it? Yeah, so uh, I think getting closer to the end of the season, once we do organize the watch party between... Because Arsenal's game, I'll travel to the last but one game, man. And I don't think we'll do last game, because that one, there'll be too hectic. There's too many games that we want to follow. So that one game, we'll try and see how best. And I think we'll try and invite the person who's leading the FPL at the time. So, uh, guys, we are still tracking it. We want to thank everybody for participating this season. Um, FPL will try. This, this is the thing. This is the only thing which we think we can give back as of right now. But we are grateful. Um, I want to thank the listeners, Charlie. Ever since we've been on YouTube, Charlie, the small clips we do every day, smiley self crack, they do over time for me. But we are grateful. We are very, 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 very grateful. We want to grow this thing to be bigger than it's ever been. Um, you guys have been magnificent. The it's just wanting us to speak. You want to hear our voices at the end of every game or some controversial something will happen be or yesterday like this. Like I could just see how much support there was for the guys to hop on and then put out the episode on Monday morning or afternoon. But then we all we get nine to five. We at least want to get everybody on, you know, and you guys to challenge. I'm not saying no easy, but me personally, I want to thank you guys. For being as consistent as you have been. Kawa, wherever he is, I'm not saying he'll be working on like a day plus week, but Charlie himself proud when he can, he will try for a week. Right? So, you guys, big up yourself, big up yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And also, speaking of the supports, me, I just want to give a shout out to um, Kwejo. Kwe, is it Kwejo AOS? Yeah, I think that's the handle. Kwejo AOS. 
on on Twitter. On Twitter, yeah, he yeah. gave a lot of support. He was one of the people asking for the episode. That yesterday. nigga he has like been in my freaking mentions <laughs> non-stop <laughs> for the past two weeks, dog. I'm not even tripping, man. That guy. I gotta give it. I gotta give it. I gotta give it to him for his hatership, because bro, that nigga is consistent. Yeah, Charlie, football fans, we know easy like that. But then I think this <laughs> ATW community, we want to want to help it grow. Um, if there's any chance where we can give extra content, we would. So you guys, to the support, keep pushing us, keep feeding, keep, keep feeding us with comments, keep feeding us with interactions and all that. It helps boost the pot up. And uh, if you're on YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, share, so that we can get the numbers up. And if we are monetized, then Charlie, it's, the money is going back straight into the pod. That's what I want to do. Everybody get mic right now. So we we are investing. <laughs> you know, so yeah, Charlie, thank you guys as always. So also thank GCR as well for the platform to perform. That, so you guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Champions League resumes this week. Uh, we'll conclude the quarterfinals, head into the semis. And yeah, Charlie Moore Premier League, you know, it's just it's just gonna be rolling to the end of the season. So we'll be here witnessing it all. Hopefully, Charlie, you know, will be something crazy that we'll have to clip up somebody's voice again and then put it up on the internet. <laughs> I know, I know people but I know it's... people are wa- I know people are wondering what I'm drinking, right? I'm drinking Corey's tears. <laughs> all right, y'all. <laughs> this is ATW Dominate. The conversation.